magical days that you wait for and when it just breaks wide open is right now and we are into the peak of it right now of the chase and we've seen uh, about seven different bucks this morning already and it's only eight o'clock November 10th they are definitely running we've rattled every time we've rattled something has come up to us just no big ones. I'm just I'm scared that uh, a couple of the big ones are starting to get locked down, but got to be in the woods anyway. Any it could happen any second. We've had uh we had five bucks in on this draw just this morning, chasing one port that we felt bad for. It. So it's here. It's got a little slow. I don't know the last half hour, 45 minutes. But every time we've been calling and rattling, something's been coming up. So, I mean, we're right in the peak of the rut. You know, I'm going to give it another try. We'll see. Talk about last day, my brother. <laughs> oh, it's a big deal. Me and Putnam just got it done. <sighs> and he's down right there. <sighs> he's got a broken left front leg or something. He come in here. <laughs> he snuck in right behind us and we were sitting here talking, facing the other side of the tree. I turn around and here he comes. He's like 50 yards. <laughs> Jeremy didn't even know where to run the camera. He's we're fumbling around. Oh my goodness. That's quick. That was quick. That's what the rut can do for you, man. That's a big deer. That's a mature deer. That's another one we don't have pictures of. This farm is definitely coming to life, man. Two more years from now, this place is going to be jamming. Oh, give it here, brother. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. BBD. <laughs> oh, man. There he is. Nice eight. Well, here's my buck. And this is what November 10th can do for you. We've been uh, rattling and calling all morning, and uh, just about every time we've rattled and called, we've we've gotten a look at something. And uh, this guy just happened to come up behind us. Jeremy and I were both had stood up. There was a little lull for about a half hour, and uh, he just snuck in behind us. Jeremy actually has a shed to this buck, and uh, we're guessing he's going to go in the 40s, just a mature deer and I mean that's what we've been looking to take from this farm we've had uh, Jeremy's had this farm for I think three years now and uh, it's just starting to come to life in another two years there's a lot of up-and-comers so hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more of these <laughs> 